Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a review of a Misha lip product I picked up a few weeks ago. Yeah, I've had it for a couple weeks now. Uh, it is the Misha Glow Lip Blush. I kind of bought it on a whim. Uh, I brought it home and did a little more research on it uh, in English because all the signs are in Korean, of course. And um, it's actually something I've kind of had mixed feelings about over the couple weeks. I've kind of been working with it, trying to decide what my review was going to be like. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about this uh, glossy lip product, uh, please keep watching. So the first thing that I noticed in the store, besides the uh, pretty shiny packaging, uh, is the range of colors. I can't remember every single color, but they're all really nice, natural, uh, pretty wide range of nudes for Korean standards, keep in mind, but a pretty wide range of uh, my lips but better colors. So I was really happy about that. Um, I ended up picking up the color. They, I cannot find an English name for this. Uh, so I'll put the Korean name for it. And if I find an English version or a number for it, I'll put it down in the description box for you. Um, but I'm wearing it right now and it's basically just a rosy mauve natural color. Um, I figured that was a pretty safe bet since I didn't really know fully what the formula was going to be like. It's a really, really creamy formula. It applies really nicely. Um, it does not dry down. I don't think they ever claimed that it would dry down though, so that's not a problem. Uh, it just, it feels really comfortable on the lips. It kind of reminded me of the Bite uh, liquefied lips, if you're familiar with those, but a little bit lighter. So if you're looking for a more lightweight version of those, this may be a good option. Uh, Scent-wise, not much of a scent, which I really, really love. I don't really need my lip products to be scented. Not really what I'm looking for. Yeah, if anything, there might be like a light kind of vanilla-y scent, but it's, I mean, it's less than like MAC lipsticks. It's really, really light and you definitely don't smell it when it's on. Something else I noticed in the store was the wand. Um, it's a really interesting <laughs> wand, as you can see. Um, I've seen this before. I feel like when you're drawing it on, the bumps just kind of curve around your lips. It kind of slightly lines your lips, so you don't have to. I don't know. I really, really like it. I think it makes putting on the lipstick really quick and really easy. I'm, I'm a huge fan. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> All right, so when it comes to wear time, like I said, it does not dry down. Um, it kind of starts to feel a little less wet, uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes after wearing, um, but you will still, um, you'll still get lip prints on your, on your water cups and all that. It's not going to stay dried down. It does not leave a tint at all, um, which I was kind of sad about, but I don't, it doesn't say tint anywhere on this, so. Um, <laughs> so despite the fact that it's really creamy, um, it'll actually stay for hours. Um, it stays for about half, I'd say maybe about four hours if you're not doing anything. Uh, once you start eating, even if it's not oily, it completely comes off. And lastly, the thing I really like about it is, I didn't really catch onto this and I felt a little dumb later when I was doing my research, but it is called the Glow Lip Blush. Um, and I just thought it was because it was in a blushy color. All the colors are very natural looking. Um, and they did do that for a reason because this is a multi-use product. Uh, you can use it on your cheeks and your lips. And I'm so glad I picked this color because this is a color I wear on my cheeks. Um, and I am wearing it right now. Uh, it's a really, really nice natural color and it you, makes the shade range even more amazing because it, I think it could fit a good number of skin tones. Like I said, especially for a Korean line. It's, it's not perfect. <laughs> right, so the cons, the not so great things. There aren't that many, um, but there are a few more than usual. This is not, this wasn't my favorite lip product I've bought here in Korea. I think a really big thing for me though, um, is I saw a lot of ads for this, which is kind of why when I walked in, I was like, oh yeah, I've seen so many like Instagram and YouTube ads that have popped up. It's the glow line, that was Misha, okay. Uh, so I walked over immediately to the lips. Um, and when I brought it home and I was wearing it, it doesn't look anything like in the ads. Um, the way they have it, it looks more like a tinted gloss. They made it look like it was a lot thinner. Um, and just really, really, I mean, it's the glow line and I 
don't fully feel like I would call this a glow lip product. It's really more of a creamy kind of satiny finish. Uh, it just It's just a normal lipstick in liquid form. And like I said, I've had it for a couple weeks, so I really have tried to mess around with it a bit, kind of mix it with a lip balm, uh, do a lip mask before, wipe it off, put that on. Um, I still can't fully get it like the, uh, like the ads have it and the, the posters in the Misha store have it looking like. So that was a little disappointing and I would watch out for that. All right, and lastly, um, something that I'm really not a huge fan of. Oh, and uh, oh, it really loses points for me when lipsticks do this. Um, like I said, it is not a stain. It is not a dry down, never claimed to dry down. Um, so when you eat anything, oily or not, it will go away. The main problem is, is that it fades into basically a lip liner. Even if you don't apply it like a lip liner, it fades into a lip liner. And it's really awful. <laughs> and it really, really annoys me when lip products that aren't long lasting can't fade gradually. All right, so anyway, that is my review of the Misha Glow Lip Blush. I think it's a weird name. Um, anyway, kind of a mixed review. Not my favorite thing I've ever bought from Misha. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know if there's any questions I didn't answer in this video. You can comment down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos just like this. Alright, thanks guys.